Hey everybody, this is Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to use soap calc to calculate out soap recipes that are written in percents into something where you can actually measure everything and make a batch of soap. It's really important when you're making your own soap to always calculate out a recipe for yourself so you can be 100% confident in the amount of lye you're using to ensure you're making a safe bar of soap. Asking somebody else to calculate it for you is a little bit like asking somebody to start your car every time you want to drive somewhere. This is a really important skill and it's not hard, so let's dive right in here. So this here, this is soap calc. This is my favorite soap calculator. It does look a little bit like it's 1995, but it's a great soap calculator. It does look a little intimidating. There's lots of fields, lots of moving things. But there's very few parts of this website that we're actually going to be changing. So part one over here, we have the type of lye you're using. If you're making bar soap, it'll be NaOH, sodium hydroxide. And if you're making liquid soap, it'll be KOH, potassium hydroxide. Leaving it at sodium hydroxide because today we're going to be calculating a bar soap recipe. Over here, weight of oils. This is where you determine your batch size. This is the beauty of calculating soap recipes in percents because you can choose how big you want your batch to be and what units you want to work in. I love the metric system, so I'm going to choose grams. And 500 grams is a great starter batch size. It's just a little bit more than a pound for those of you who use the imperial system. Okay, water is percentage of oils. Leave that as it is. I've never touched that. It always works out great. And four, we have super fat and fragrance. So super fat is also known as a lye reduction. And so that's a little buffer that we build in. We use a little bit less lye than we need so that there's always a little bit more fat rather than a little bit more lye. This creates a little buffer in case you have any measuring inconsistencies or your scale's not 100% accurate. And it also makes for a bar of soap that is more gentle on your skin. I often use 5%, 5% is pretty standard. Super fat's not an ingredient, it is part of the calculation. So if you're looking at my recipes and wondering why there's 105% of ingredients, that's because the super fat is not actually an ingredient, it is part of the calculations, also known as a lie discount. For fragrance, they've listed 31 grams per kilo. I prefer to use significantly more, 60 grams per kilo. That's roughly an ounce per pound of essential oils essential oils to uh, the, the weight of the fats that you're using. I found that this makes for a bar of soap that's quite fragrant even after it has aged. I found that dropping that amount, depending on the essential oil you're using, can really make for a bar of soap that doesn't smell like much by the time you're done aging it. And that's our setup. So now we come down to entering our specific recipe into this area, area five. So I brought up my lots and lots of clay soap recipe, so we can enter this in. It's pretty close to my all-purpose soap recipe, and it's a really beautiful bar of soap. So we're going to start with 25% each olive oil and coconut oil. So head back over to soap calc, look for olive oil. I like to just type the first letter of the name of the oil in while I've selected something in this area and it'll hop right down to that letter of the alphabet rather than scrolling around. So I'll add olive oil and type 25 into the percent column here and then we'll go find coconut oil. You're almost always going to be using the 76 degree coconut oil. That's the normal standard coconut oil that you buy that's solid at room temperature but melts really quickly when it touches your skin. So let's go back to our recipe here. 30% tallow. All right. Tallow, bear, nope, I'm using beef tallow. If you happen to be a hunter or no hunters and you can get a hand on any of these other kinds of tallow, that's super cool and they're right here so you can just calculate them into the recipe and carry on. And then we've got 15% shea butter and 5% castor oil. So shea butter, 15, and castor oil, 5. Okay, that's it. So we'll hit calculate recipe and then you'll notice that this button is now active so we can click on this and get everything in a new tab. And here you go. Here's all your numbers. 
we have the amount of lye and water that you're going to be using, the total amount of oils and the amount of fragrance you should include, and that's listed in pounds, ounces, and grams for you. And then down here we have the final finite amounts of all the different oils that you should be using. Brilliant! There's your recipe. If you're ever interested in fiddling around with the recipe a bit and starting to hypothesize about how more and less of different ingredients will affect your final bar of soap, this area here, this soap bar quality table, is a great place to start. You can see different qualities like hardness, cleansing, and conditioning, desired ranges, and then where your recipe falls within those ranges. So you can start to tweak your recipes to get, say, a harder bar or a bar with more bubbly lather, and you can change the amounts of your ingredients to see which ingredients impact which numbers and how. So that's it. This is your recipe. You just calculated out a bar of soap.